Hi, Elle Ingalls here this morning at pressure-free.com, elleingalls.com. By the way, my website's down, so don't try to go there. Uh, <laughs> you can go to my LinkedIn profile. You can come here. You can private message me if you want to get in contact or just go straight to my calendar, speakwithelle.com. That is working. Um, <clears throat> every once in a while, tech, tech has issues, right? <laughs> And that kind of leads us right into the topic today. So we're doing a series this week on five things that cause you to, um, I call it priming you to go into fight or flight. So these are things that can um, easily cause you to trigger the stress response. Where are my L shirt today? So everybody knows how to spell my name and it's one syllable L. Come over here to this bench. No, I'm gonna keep walking today. So. Get my walk in before a storm comes. It's pretty gray today. Blaming and shaming. That's a topic today. Um, one of the things that I recognize in myself and decided to put into my body of work with Pressure Free was that when we get frustrated or irritated, something isn't quite going our way, it's really easy to start to go into some blaming behavior even before you've triggered fight or flight so you might blame other people for situations you might shame yourself you might even blame the weather <laughs> i've had uh vile instance say oh it's too hot today or it's too cold today like blaming the weather for their situation um, or inability to play a certain passage uh i did, i remember being at interlock in one summer and it was so humid and we were in a tin barn and we ha we couldn't excuse our playing. We just had to do it. Tanya is here from Denmark. Woo! Thanks for joining. So for the first step is just notice that you're starting to go into behavior. By the way, this happened to me last night. Have you ever misplaced your phone? <laughs> so after dinner last night, I couldn't find my phone. I'm not completely attached to my phone. It is not a tether. I'm an old school girl where you used to go on vacation and no one could get a hold of you for weeks. So I don't have my phone right next to me all the time. So I had misplaced it. And I'm looking all around the condo. It's not a very big condo. <laughs> all the usual places, then all the unusual places. Then I remember I'd gone up to the loft and done a row. So I looked up there still couldn't find it. And so I really resisted this, you guys. I super resisted it. And then I just couldn't help it. I, I, I said to my husband, did you take my phone? Every once in a while, it's extremely rare, but he'll grab mine instead of his. He has this little thingy on it though. So then he very quickly knows it's not his, but I can't believe that I actually finger pointed. I asked him, did you take my phone? Of course he didn't take my phone. My phone was actually charging. It was over on my bookcase charging. So uh, I resisted it, but I still did it. So catching yourself blaming, um, shaming yourself, it's real sneaky. It's, it's, I've been doing this for 12 years, figuring this out, and yet I still did it last night. So take some time to really Notice what's happening in your mind, just like the other things we've talked about this week, complaining, meddling, now blaming, shaming. Blaming and shaming usually happens when we've got certain expectations and they're not being met. So you're trying to rationalize and justify the situation. And that's why we will be so quick to finger point it's because we want to resolve the situation and we want answers. And remember, I think I, I don't know if I shared this on here, if you watch my show daily, but I, I shared it with my certification group last Sunday. This, this year, you are an amazing fiction writer, right in here. You create all sorts of negative fake worry, all sorts of fiction. And with blaming and shaming, we do that too. Like I just planted this picture in my mind of my husband taking my phone and no, he didn't take my phone. He didn't even come close to my phone. My phone was charging. So, uh, is this making sense? Like how, how easy it is to start to blame and shame things. I was working with a hockey player once who uh, blamed, 
Blame the fact that he brought the wrong stick to a hockey tryout, which is why he thought he didn't make the team. He didn't have the right stick. So, um, no, that's not why he didn't make it. <laughs> but we'll look for answers. Uh, I don't have the right running shoes on. I don't, uh, my bow's too tight for a violinist. You know, all these little things, we're, tr we're trying to find an answer because we're so unhappy or frustrated with what's actually happening. So if you can, again, kind of step back, <laughs> I'm gonna take a step back, take a step back and think about why, you know, you're justifying this, but it's, it's not really making sense. This is fiction up here. <laughs> and just settle yourself down. Make sure you keep your heart rate low by a long, slow breath. And gosh, I should have kept my mouth shut last night. I didn't, <laughs> just being honest here. You know, zip the lips is definitely a good one for all of these things, just so that you can process. We want everything done yesterday, today in our, in our society. We want everything done quickly. And sometimes if you've lost something in your house, your keys, your phone or whatever, you need to process. In fact, my husband said to me, where did you have them last? Where'd you have your phone last? Oh, I brought it up when I was rowing. Wasn't up there, <laughs> but processing. So again, this is one of those things that will prime you just like a pump, like a bulb of a, um, a gas tank, the little thing you do when you start your mower, um, primes you to go into fight or flight. It's really easy to trigger the stress response when you have um, gone, when you're having those feelings of blaming or shaming, feeling ashamed for sure. Those are one of the A's that we talk about. But blaming others, other stuff, whoops, I got a big puddle here. Um, blaming, blaming the mud. <laughs> We're getting my shoes dirty. <laughs> Anything like that. Uh, just, you, you'll save yourself so much time and energy if you can back off that blaming and shaming and ask yourself an empowering question like how can i solve this or how can i make this better or um you know how can we if you're a team working on something together how can you get to solution faster that's an empowering question i use a lot because i do like things to go quickly i do like to solve things quickly um so how can you solve it elegantly is another one I use. And lately somebody has been saying to me, you know, Al, I want more ease in my life. I want my life to be, be, have more ease in it. So how can I solve this with ease? Could be a really great one to um, just really set you up for a win. It's like a minefield of mud out here today. <laughs> it's fun. It's a challenge. <laughs> Got a leap. So I hope this is helpful. Um, blaming, shaming. Gosh, like I said, I just did it last night. So it's a constant, constant awareness to see that you're doing it. Um, oh, just one more thing that came up in my mind. Like sometimes we'll say things like this. We'll blame family members for us not being at the stage in life or in the situation that we really want. Like you'll say, oh, well, it's my kid's fault. I don't have my degree yet or it's my kid's fault. I'm not making the money I want at this point because I, you know, I have this responsibility. Um, it's my partner's fault that I haven't been able to accomplish this yet. You know, we're again, trying to just find answers. So be gentle with yourself. <laughs> You're looking for answers to solve your situations. Um, but when you can refrain from triggering the stress response, you'll come up with much better answers because your full brain will be working, not just your scared brain. My job is to help you stay out of your scared brain. So I hope you have a great pressure-free day. Watch for the, now we've done complaining, meddling, blaming, shaming, and uh, tomorrow we'll do another one. And with that, I'm gonna sign off and get around all this mud. So have a great pressure-free day. Bye.